Today I'll be showing you how I painted the black out of the forest of many different names from H.P. Lovecraft. I made this figure out of a dark young by Reaper Bones, and then the extra head from the Mind Stealer Sphinx from Warcry. I don't have a pin vise, so I attached it via hot glue and green stuff. And after my attempt at trying to do a Xenophall, priming it with black and then going on top of the tentacles and face and legs with gray then white, I cover the face and legs with Dreadful Visage, the contrast paint, and dry brush Necromancer Cloak over the black fur. Paint the hair on the Mind Stealer head with Mago's purple contrast paint, Volupus pink contrast on the tentacles. Make sure to try and get some on the black fur. Try and make it look like it's blending into itself. Paint the horns with Necromancer Cloak. Because Mind Stealer, he has some armor bits, so I painted those with Retributor Armor. And highlighted it with Polished Gold by Vallejo, and then a mix of Polished Gold and Just Silver by Vallejo. Paint the nose with a mix of Gray Sealer and Oozing Purple by Army Painter. I painted all the eyes on the figure with Gray Sealer, and then dot the iris with Moog Green, both by Citadel. The base is a mix of Black and Kelly Green by Apple Barrel. Dry brushed it with Heavy Black Green by Vallejo. Paint the teeth with Iraqi Sand by Vallejo. Then I shaded it with Agrax Earth Shade mixed with Dark Tone. Then I went back over the tentacles with a mix of Lupus Pink and White. And yes, it was pretty hard to get the paint out of the pot and not spill it everywhere. Recess Shade with Karamogue Crimson. Shade the armor with Seraphim Sepia. Shade basically everything else on the figure except for the pink and purple with a dark wash. I use this Vallejo stuff, but you can also use just Dark Tone. I like the horns with Skaven Bright Dinge by Citadel. And after a matte varnish, here she is. Here she is with the Spot of Cthulhu figure I painted a while ago. Here she is with my other Mind Stealer, aka my Slash Demon Princess. But what do you guys think? You like how it turned out? Do you not? Do you have a different way of making the Black Goat? Let me know in the comments below.